Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now here we will talk about something called acclimatization. Now this is a new term, a big term, sounds to be very complex and difficult, but that, that's not the case. So acclimatization is a concept which happens to overcome the small problems due to changes in surroundings. So we will see that there might be certain changes uh, which, which take place instantaneously, not over a long period of time, like how adaptation happens, not like that. Over a shorter period of time, certain changes take place to overcome certain problems that exist in the surroundings. So let us try to understand what exactly acclimatization is. So what is acclimatization? These are small changes that take place in an organism over short periods to adjust to the changes in the surroundings. Now this is the most important thing here I and mean, this is how it differentiates acclimatization from adaptation. So when we talk about adaptation it is something which takes long period of time which takes huge time to actually happen but acclimatization these are small changes which take place in the organism over short periods of time so so let us see what kind of small changes and how, why do these changes happen so let us take some example in fact these changes happen to overcome some sort of problems which uh, which has arise due to change in the surroundings now if there is a sudden change in the surroundings it might become difficult for the organism to adapt so to adapt to those kind of changes the organism also undergo certain uh, changes within its body and these small changes are acclimatization so let's take this example so let's say that you very comfortably live on the plains and now suddenly uh, you go to some high altitude region where with, at a very huge height maybe you climb a mountain or maybe you go to some hill station which is located at a considerably high altitude what happens when you go there as we know that as the altitude increases or as the height increases what happens the breathing we experience breathing problems because at very high altitudes the levels of oxygen is lower in the air so as the altitude as the height increases what happens oxygen level decreases so if you reach at a very good height what happens there is less oxygen in the air therefore you tend to breathe very fast so that you can get more and more oxygen within your body now what kind of changes take place inside our body so one thing is we start breathing faster so that the and initial especially during the initial period as soon as you reach the mountains for the initial time you start breathing faster to get more and more oxygen in fact a lot of people experience breathing problems also but once you start staying in that region for few days what happens gradually the body gets adjusted and then you do not have breathing problems like a lot of people they live in those hilly areas they do not have breathing problems because with time inside the body there is an increase in the number of red blood cells now when the red blood cells increases they increase the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood so in that case what happens your body is able to carry oxygen faster so you are able to take in oxygen faster so the need of the body is fulfilled so that's how the body gets adjusted when you go to a, a, a higher altitude region so you see these kind of changes that take place within our body these are short term changes they take short period of time to actually happen so this is an example of acclimatization so let us look at another example so think of a ship so this ship, they grow very thick wool in cold climates, but they don't do so during hot weather. Why is it so? That's because during the cold climate, they feel that they should have something like a jacket which can provide them warmth, which can give them insulation. So that is why they grow very thick wool during cold climates. So that is again also an example of acclimatization because these changes take place within a few days or within a few months. Plants like tomatoes, they can survive freezing temperatures if the temperature drops gradually over a period of time. Now again, if you take any plant there in your garden and you uh, suddenly increase the temperature or if you suddenly decrease the temperature, what happens? The plants tend to die so they, because they are not able to adapt to that sudden change. 
So in a similar way, if you look at these plants like tomatoes, if there is a sudden drop in temperature, the plants will die. But if the temperature drops gradually, let's say the temperature was 30 degrees, then it drops to 25, then it drops to 22, then it gradually drops to maybe 15, 14, 9, 8, 5, 4 and finally even minus 1. Even in those freezing temperatures, the plants will be able to survive because when the temperature drops gradually, the plant gradually gets adjusted to the existing temperature. So these are all examples where we see that organisms in order to adjust to the changes in the environment or in order to adjust to some adverse climatic conditions, they undergo some changes within their body over a short period of time and these changes or this process is known as acclimatization. So I hope that you are clear how acclimatization is different from adaptation. So adaptation is a long term thing but acclimatization is a short term thing just to overcome some unfavorable conditions. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.